Hey, everybody. It's uh, time to do something. So, we're going to clean out two bins. We're going to reset them. We're going to get them all uh, gone through, get all the cocoons and babies and all the mostly finished castings out, put them in a different bin, and we're going to reset these two bins, probably back with the same amount of worms. I mean, I'm not overcrowded, and the more worms I got, the faster they'll work the bedding and the food and everything, and it'll just, uh, they'll make me castings and babies even faster. So, I don't think I'm going to split them out. It just depends on, I'm going to weigh them and see. It's roughly three, I think it's like three ounces per bin. So, uh, I'm going to do the light method. That's how I always do it, because uh, I'm trying to keep the cocoons and the babies, and I'm going to leave them in the mostly finished castings and so it's gonna need to dry it out and stress the worms and just have to rehydrate it and i don't know uh it's taking me longer to set up this hollywood sound stage that i got going on here to get the right camera angle for two bins and the lighting and everything you should really see what i got built over here with a wood uh, with a metal shelf uh some worm bins a water jug a light a can of seasoned uh breadcrumbs <laughs> and, and so listen if you hear some a loud crashing boom noise okay and it's not you and it ain't me don't even worry about it i'm not even gonna move because it's probably something that's stacked up over here out of the way because i had to pull bins out from this whole side that came up to make this little hole here for this whole thing to happen tonight so anyway so i'm gonna get them down we'll start pulling them out and and dropping the castings cocoons and babies into a bucket over here and I'm just going to take both bins and put them in the same bucket because they're going to wind up back in the same hatchery bin anyway. And then we'll move into, uh, once I get them down into a, a pile in the middle here, we'll work down to a, a, a paintbrush or, or something. I don't know, one of, one, one of the paintbrushes. And we'll sweep them down as, as much as we want to. I'm not selling them. I don't have to clean them off. I mean, I'm going to try to clean them off as much as I can for a weigh-in. But other than that, we need a little bit of casters anyway to throw in with our new bedding that we're going to reset. So, anyway, off to the races. I don't know if I'm going to drag you all the way with me or not. We'll see how this goes. Um, it takes a bit, but hey, guess what? I got time to kill right now down here messing with this, and I'm going to just set these two bins because they need to be set anyway. So, off to the races we go. So, it's real simple. Uh, I'm sitting down. I ain't stressing. I ain't moving a lot. I'm just kind of sitting here chilling. And all I do is just reach down through here like this, okay? Now, I'm not getting the baby, so they're all coming. Whatever is going to come down here, too. And I just rake it off the top like this, okay? And so I don't have any adult worms in here. So that's going in there. And that's what we're doing. So, and see, it's getting muddy. So those castles are really done right there. So that's why I want to clean them out. They're, they're done. These are like January to 15th bins. And so, um, yeah, it's about time to give them, give them a run through. And so what I will do, though, like when I get a hold of one like that, I've got a little bin here. I will grab him up like that and go on and drop him in there. And then that way, it's one. that's one less worm I got to hunt. You know, so... Yeah, see, that's all it takes right there. See, we're, we're, we're I mean, we're probably, I don't know, 40% done. Doesn't take just a second. And like I said, everything's still wet. Nobody's stressed a whole lot. I mean, like I said, it's stressful enough but as it is to get to the, change them out. But, yeah, I mean, this is, I think it's pretty simple. I like it. So, yeah, see? Like that right there. And I see tons and tons of cocoons in here, so that is really cool too. So I'm I'm happy about that. We'll have a good turnout, I believe. We'll get down a little lower like that. We have to go back a little bit like that. But other than that, yeah, I've had to set up boards and pieces and things and. I don't know. Anyway, it's uh yeah, it's crazy in here right now to get this shot here for the everybody. But uh, I, I, it's okay. Y'all are worth it. Y'all are worth it. Like I said, if it wasn't for y'all, I would be in here talking to myself, and my wife would be trying to figure out how to have me committed, probably. So um, 
Anyway, there's that one. And then same thing with this one. Just basically, just I'm just dragging my hand across the top, you see, and just bringing it over like that. And look at that as I'm bringing it. And just giving it that. There's one. We got another band for those. Because like I said, I'm going I'm to weigh them just for the fun of it. I mean, it doesn't even matter because they're all going back in anyway. But uh, just out of curiosity. I'm not going to count them. Not that night. So, and this is how I reset them anyway. I, don't, I usually don't count them. Up. And see, so I'll go through this again. I'll go through this later uh, a couple weeks from now or a week or so from now. I'll go through and see how they're hatching and make sure they've been fed, make sure they're still wet, and then they'll hatch out. And once they get to where I can pick them up, like, like that one. See, that one there's not a bad one. That's, I call them pickers. Probably maybe even about half of that size, you know, about, about, about that long. You know how they, when they're, when they're born, they got the, they got the little purple, white, and segmented sexy colors. So, yeah, that's a, that's about all I'm hunting. Is something like that. I'm not going to do anything else like that. And I'll go through them and make sure. I try to get them before they become adults and start dumping more cocoons into my finished castings. And that's it, you see. But, uh, yeah, this is this real high tech redneck way to do it right here. So I just scratch them down like that, get them down here. I'm loving all these little maroon and yellow and green colored little cocoons that are in here. That is really awesome. I'm tickled about that. And so, this will be another hatchery bin, I guess, is what you'll call it. So, we'll get that little pile right there and go in the center. And that'll go back in the big pile. But, yeah. I get into a ball like that. I'll go in and snatch them up sometimes. Yeah, see? And there we are. And I've already got a half a five gallon bucket over here of casting. So, yep, those right there, I get them about like that. And then that's when I decide, hey, those are the ones that'll come out and either go in the tub or I'll create a new bin with them. So, yeah. We're fixing to get them all tore up here in a second now. See, there's some of that food we fed on the other day. So, uh, I am real excited though, man. We broke 20,000 views and I'm just blown away. And I looked and I don't know what's happened to my channel, but we've broken eight videos have broken, um, a thousand views and I don't know. It just blows my mind. I don't know. I'm just like, y'all are really enjoying listening to old man ramble about worms. I reckon. Anyway, but yeah, this is it. Like I said, just a little more meticulous here in a minute. You know, once I get everything piled up in the middle and get 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 to really fluffing it out, because they're still laying down in these tracks and stuff down in the very bottom. So once I start, you know, like that, once I start flipping flipping it over, oh, we may have a collapse before it's over with. <laughs> but uh, yeah, once I start flipping it over and stuff, it's gonna be a happening. But, uh, yeah, I was trying to get the right camera angle. I couldn't get the right camera angle, so I had to, had to improvise a redneck camera holder up here. And it seems to be working. I, I think I like it. Caught both, caught both the bins pretty good, I guess. I'm assuming you can still hear me. We done a sound check earlier. So, anyway. But, uh, but yeah. That's her. We can always jump back over here now. And, uh really get into them now see what we'll do is we'll start pulling these these little ribs out at the bottom you see we we'll start pulling them out like that and pulling them over here like this you see and then you really start getting into some worms yeah like that and that oh come in now And all I'm doing is just getting them out, getting them into something small enough. It is full of babies right there, hatchlings. So that is really awesome. But see, they're going to go over here. 
Yeah, they grew up over there and become nice, comparable citizens of society. So, but yeah, this is, I mean, I think it's simple. I don't know. So I get confused to drop a handful of this in there, and then you know, I'll have to start over, but it'll be all right. Yeah, we're making mud now, so yeah, it's about time for this. To really start, once you cast and start getting muddy, and plus I run my bins and want a little wet, but once they start getting muddy, you see, you need to go on and pull them out and set them up for some new bedding, and we'll call it good, and we need these castings anyway. We're going to be planting some plants, and uh, like I said, I don't know, just everybody acts like the, the light method takes a while, and I don't feel like it does. I mean, I kind of hurry along too here, then. I'm not sitting around watching them. I'm, I'm helping them. Uh, anyway. Right. Here's one. He's hiding in there. We'll take him. Mm -hmm. I don't have to get it all because we're going to leave some of that in here for the new bedding to help inoculate it. So, yeah. Boom. And by me not having to dry it out, like I said, it doesn't stress my worms out. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't slow anything down. Every time, everything's still kind of running. They're a little disturbed because I'm banging them around, moving them. But I still think it's a lot easier than sifting them out like this. I, I don't know how that feels, but anyway. So this is me. This is how we do it here at the crazy old man Dirty Joe's Worm Farm. So anyway, but um. Like I said, I feel like we're, uh, we made good time on that bin, and we're making good time on a lot of the bins. So, this one here is already getting ready to, it's next here in just a minute, so. I ain't wasting no time on it either, but yeah, baby, 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 baby. oh yeah, we're doing good, man. We're doing awesome, awesome. So, but yeah, I'm totally stoked though, man, like I said. 20,000 views, uh, 100 and, I don't know, 58 subscribers, something like that, v videos breaking a thousand, and I'm getting, I'm averaging like 11 views an hour, and I'm like, cool, I mean, that is really awesome, so, uh, and welcome to all the new subscribers, uh, there's, 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 there's ones new every day, and so I appreciate everybody that's, that subbed, and uh, everybody keeps coming back, watch Crazy Old Man, play with worms, and ramble about worms, you're more than welcome. Come hang out with me anytime. We're doing it, and this is what we do. But, uh, yeah, it's late tonight trying to get this stuff done. I tangled up at work and got home and then went back out and had to go hang sheetrock in a bathroom. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know, hunt up some electrical issues and... All sorts of good stuff. All sorts of good stuff. Parts for my lawnmowers came in. So I can get my mowers back up and running. And uh, go mow some yards. And what else? Just all sorts of good stuff. We're making progress everywhere. Oh yeah, and I'm in the middle of replacing the floor in my kitchen. And my water heater. And my water heater decided to take a um, dive and drop dead on me the other day. So, we've got a new water heater to put in, but guess what? It jacked the floor up. So, now we get to change the floor. So, anyway, it's okay. Ain't nothing we can't do. Luckily, I do that. That's what I do for a living. So, I'm not stressed about it. I don't, I don't have to call the insurance company. Oh, I'm not the insurance claim or anything. So, there we go. Right there. It's pretty much... When I call done, and listen, if I missed them, an adult in here, it would be okay, because it needs to stay in here anyway, because that's, that's where we're going to be at. It's right here. All right. What do y'all think? You think I got them all? Does it look good? So, yeah. There we go. That is how you clean out one bin. 
and half on another there. So anyway, we're going to probably leave that much, if not more, in this. Now, all right, here we go. We're going to do this. One. All right, ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. No, anyway. Uh-huh. Yep. So it works crazy. That's why I like this. I come down here. You hear how quiet it is, right? Yeah. See, that's awesome. I don't talk to nobody. My 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 other phone's upstairs. I don't have my my work phone with me. They can't even get in touch with me right now. I'm in a I'm in a no zone. I'm in the worm zone, so yeah, nobody can bother me right now. I'm doing my worms. So. Oh, go on. Watch out. See, the thing he's wanting to fall over. See, you know how it is. Oh, almost did it. Almost. All right. Get in there. Get in there. Let it out. So, yeah. Went by the uh, Dollar General tonight, and luckily I just come through. The, they got the little produce section, you know. And so while I was creeping through there, the manager lady was over there doing some stock work or whatever. And I was like, hey, I was like, uh, who takes care of your produce section? And she said a company comes in and they do it. But they're the ones that actually remove all the bad produce. And I was like, hey, that's really cool. And she's like, why? She's like, you, you need something? I was like, yeah. I need all the bananas and apples and salad bags and anything else in this little section here that goes bad. I could use that. And she's like, oh, you got chicken? I was like, no, I don't have chickens. I was like, she's like, oh, really? She's like, you got goats? I was like, no, I don't have goats either. <laughs> so I told her, I was like, I got worms. She's like, huh? <laughs> oh, so I love to look, look on people's face. Like, you tell her you got worms. So anyway, but, uh, but yeah. So I might have me hook up on some, some more sweets and treats for the, for the babies. Well, that'll be cool. Hey, easy. Everybody stay still now. Nobody wants to be moving around. Look. Get in there. Well, yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple here. I'm I'm not working myself to death. I'm sitting over here on a little stool and got me a little cushion and just sitting over here chilling. Took a little bit to do it do it too wide with the camera. That was that's the whole thing. Should we get him? Huh? Nah. We'll let him grow up with his brothers and sisters and sister brothers. And brother sister. Cousin. So But uh Yeah, just sitting here chilling. Like I said, I don't I don't have to have every single worm. I don't, you know, I ain't gonna beat myself up like that. I ain't trying to make it hard on me. That's what I try to let them get to. I gotta let them try to get to that size in the in the breeder bands. I mean the uh, hatchery bands where I can pick them up, and then I can do something with them, and I can drop them in another bin or something like that. So yeah, anyway, but uh. Well, that's pretty much it right there. That's the magic to the to the whole fandango there. And like I said, I'm gonna just throw them in here and then they're running down now, just like those. They're gone. So we'll let these run down, then we'll flip them over and we'll pull them off. We'll pull them off again. And uh that'll cut the dirt in half right there just by just by doing that, letting them run down to the bottom of the bucket. Flip it straight over while they're on the top I'll automatically, just reach down, grab them again, chuck them over there. And that gets, like I said, that gets you, uh, gets about half of your dirt out. And then let them run down to the bottom. Sweep them off and you're pretty much done with the worms. So, oh man, this thing does not want to. I pulled it out off of the table so that I could get underneath it and get closer to it. To get to the proper camera angle for this Hollywood production I got going on over here. Uh, anyway, hey, 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 where are you going? No, you got to go in there. So... Oh, yeah. 
like I said, we're not getting them all. We're just getting the ones we can. And I try to get all my adults out. Then that way I don't have to worry about them banging more cocoons out me running this nonstop gauntlet of picking out hatchlings and changing them over to another being or something like that. I don't have to keep messing with that. And so, you know, I try to get as many as I can out. And you'd be surprised how small they are with a clotellum. So. But yeah. So I don't know if anybody's checked out Wheels Got Worms. Um, I'll drop his uh, link in the description. Y'all go check him out, man. He says he's going to start making some more content. He makes good videos. He just don't make many of them. So he made the comment the other night that he was going to start banging out some more videos. So, you know, for all my people that have been here longer than 30 seconds on YouTube and like to follow it all the way to the end at least, um, which is about, I think they said, oh, come on now, about 64%, I think is what YouTube says, likes to follow all the way through, the, through to the end and won't skip through. So anyway. If y'all are one of them and you're listening to this part, I'm going to drop his link in the description. You're more than welcome to go over and check him out. He's got some good content and hopefully he's going to get some more content and uh, pick it up pick it up a little bit, start popping out, you know, the video on a, on a regular basis. Wheels got worms. Like I said, I'll post it. Y'all go check him out. And like I said, that's... Uh, that's the gist of it right there. Just basically you just that I mean get this coin here, you're gonna load them again. Watch, 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 watch. What we got, what we got? Oh, look at there. Yes, yeah, sir. Y'all gotta get in there and lay down. Get in there and lay down and shut up. <laughs> Go to bed. Yeah. Mm -mm. I need a bigger, I need a bigger boat. I don't think I might get the paintbrush out yet, am I? That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Oh, easy. Keep trying to dump this thing over in the floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one I filled up pretty good. So. Like I said, I appreciate everybody coming, checking it out, taking a look, all the new subscribers and everything. It's really blowing my mind. Like I said, it, I just, I never thought we would be where we're at. I mean, and we ain't even anywhere, man. Most of these other channels on here, they got 10, 20,000 subscribers and, you know, half a million views and stuff like that. I understand. I'm not a Captain Matt yet, but I'm tickled. Like I said, I just think it's hilarious. I, I love it because, I mean, I'm having a blast. And I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like that y'all are too, or you wouldn't be coming. So, anyway. But, yeah. Guess what we got? I think we got done. That's what I think we got. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah, I don't know what else we want here, right? Just 
little trick. Again, hiding in the shadows. Hiding in the shadows. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. All right. Well, there's that. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you get the magic tool out. Do the, the trick, the flip trick, right? So if you do the flip trick, we'll flip them here, right? And then we'll take it like this and we'll do that. And that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Easy, like a flounder jumping out of water over there. And I noticed the color on these are a lot better than they were when I was feeding them paper and, and stuff. They were like a real pale yellow color and, and everything. And just, I don't know. But, uh, that's all I changed, really, in the bins. I had them in the big tall bins or whatever. And I, I didn't, uh, you know, all I did was change the bins and I changed the bedroom. So, but yeah. Oh, watch out. Watch out. See nothing. Maybe that one. Some babies. But yeah, alright, well, there we go. Garden Worm Lady taught me the flip trick. Yeah, she taught me the flip trick. That was one of the first things I learned watching her do her 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 deal. She'll do the flip trick in a minute. And you see how fast it was. Flipped them, bang bang, grabbed them back up, threw them back in there, got ninety percent of the worms off the top which is the bottom, and, uh, you know, so, these have not been in here as long as the other one, but, I'm going to mess with them a little bit, maybe they'll run down, but, uh, we'll get them, uh -oh, no, get in there, get in there, Pretty decent. Let's see what we got. Should wait. Or whatever. See, this one's a lot taller than the other one. Yeah, see, this one ain't as good as the other one because they, they haven't been sitting there in a minute that long, so it's okay. Now, this is when you get into this deal here, like so. You get into here like this, and you can see, you get in here like this, and just start sweeping them down. Yeah. Like I said, it still ain't as aggressive as sifting. I just don't, I don't like banging them around like that and stuff. And so you know, I don't think it's half as stressful. But I don't know. I haven't checked the grievance forms from the worms yet to see how they look. But I like it. So, but there it is. Like I said, this is pretty much the trick. Like I said, if I'd have waited and let, or maybe even had the rectangle, another rectangle um, bin to put them in, I think I would have been better off. It's because it would have flattened them out more versus stacking them up like it is in here. But, um, 
Yeah. Come on, you got to go over here. You got to stay over here too. Well, where are you trying to go? But, uh, but yeah. And that's two bins, and that leaves us, what, 18 more or something like that? And I'm okay with that. At least these two are done. And I already made some bedding up, so I don't have to worry about any of that. And I still think it's less traumatic than a trauma. Or a sifter. I don't know. That's just how I feel about it. You know, they're running, but they're not. I mean, you know, and I'm flicking them, but I ain't beating on them. You know, you know, like I said, I'm not being real violent with them. It might look violent, but I'm not. I'm just flicking it off the top of it. The worm's staying still. I'm just flicking the dirt off of them. And so, anyway, like I said, I feel like it's not as bad. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. So. This other one down here, the first one, it done great. It's hardly any castings. Even, it ain't that much casting left in that whole bowl over there. So anyway, I may have to swap up. I've got another container like that. I should have maybe brought it. I was didn't think it was going to be that big of a difference. But evidently it is. So. See, the little one's trying to get them out of the castings and make sure they don't go in. They're just a little hard to hunt up. That's one reason why I don't ever usually worry about the little ones. I let the little ones go. I'm not going to fight them. I ain't going to try to keep up with them, hunt every single one of them. I've seen on the bottom of this other bin over here, i seen one move across, but it was itty bitty, baby. We don't need him. We can let him go grow, and then we can... uh we can deal with him when he comes of age. So. Like I said, I'm not going to get all the castings off, okay? We can take off the castings or whatever y'all want to do. But, uh, yeah, I'm not really worried about casting. Because, like I said, I'm I'm putting them right back in. I just kind of want to get a, a close guesstimate of what we got, you know. Cause I, and like I said, because it's only a close guesstimate of what we put in. So, uh, like I said, most of my, my, my way outs last time were six and seven. So, when I split those. So, we went three and three and a half. So, you know, that's uh, that's where we were at. And so, that's what I want to see, what we got. And we'll just go from there. We got the scales sitting over here. So, we'll, uh, we'll throw them up there and. Do a little math on the takeoff of the bin. Uh, so I, all my bins are marked. That's that's a point five, and this one's a point seven five. And so I've got all my little weighing trays all marked on what their weigh is, so I can subtract it because it's hard to tear them once you get them pulled. And when you use two different ones, then you really you know into something in so. All right, so there's a little bitty one hunting there in it. He don't want to turn loose that little pile of dirt. There you go. Get over there. So, but yeah. So, hey, I was going to ask. Okay, so everybody's got worms, right? You go over and open your band up and everything. Do you stop and listen to them? Do you listen to them working? Sound like a bowl of Rice Krispies? That is some good music right there, man. That means they're working. That means they're doing their thing. Means they're happy. It's a definite good sign of life that everybody's alive. 
But yeah, it's just a weird, it's a weird sound. I brought my wife went down one time when I first heard it a long time ago. I was like, check it out. And I, I opened the lid up and she's like, huh? And I was like, yeah, that's them. They're in there working. I said, they're down there running around. And it just sounds like a, like a bowl of Rice Krispies, I guess. So, well, there we go. I mean, I'm. I'm okay with this right here. Come on. Give me. Here we go. Like I said, that didn't take long to do two bends. I mean, you know. And I can reset it a whole lot faster. Uh, here in just a second. Sling some bedding in here. Wet it down. Throw them back in here. Send it on as well. I was going to do three, but I had to move this whole stack of bins that's over here. And they're stacked up almost to the ceiling now. And I've got bins stacked over there. I've got bins stacked behind me. But anyway, just to make this whole little aerial shot. I don't have a drone. But, uh, but there it is there. Get in there. Sit down, shut up. All right. I think we're good here. This is only a two month bin, and this may be about like the 100 worm worm bin deal. Um, we may not have a mass population increase in worm adult worm wise but i mean i see hundreds and hundreds of cocoons and um babies and so the 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 population increase may be in this bucket over here and not in this bin right here which is fine because if i slide this 55 half a 55 gallon barrel out that's under this table right here and we look at it it's gonna be crazy i mean yeah because the hundreds uh several hundred of, of the 100 worm being being um tub that population's in here and then also there's finished castings from another clean out so yeah and i, I mean anyway it's gonna be ridiculous but it's all good that's what we're doing that's what we want so Tied up in there, ain't he? Holding on over there, ain't he? Uh, yeah, I don't want I don't want to get too crazy with it, but I don't want a bunch of casters in here. We wanna know how many worms we got in here, don't we? Not casting. So we'll pick out whatever chunks we can get out, I guess. I'm all right with that. All right, here we go. Let's see. Boop. All right, that's what we got here today. Four and a half. So we've got four. So we got about an ounce more. So that's good. I'll take that all day long. And then this one here. Four and a half. So we got about an ounce more on there. And so that's cool. That is totally cool. Because that was uh, mid-January bins started. 
So we got uh, February, March, so roughly, I don't know, 10 weeks. And we got, we picked up a, an ounce, an ounce of worms. And like I said, all these cocoons and the whole nine yards. And that's, that's three months of cold. That's, yeah, that's a whole nother thing I got to add into the whole thing. They slowed down tremendously in the cold. So I'm good with that. I'm tickled. That'll work out good. We're making, we're making worms. We're making castings. That's what we're supposed to be doing. So yeah, I'm awesome with that. So, uh, get another handful out of here, and maybe another handful out of there. All right. I'm going to pause you for a second so that I can just load these back and all that, because I can get them out of my bin, and blah, blah, blah. So, anyway, let me put you on pause for a second. All right, we're back with the Magic of TV. So, anyway, so, like, yeah, we got these set. Uh, the bedding, the leaf compost, yard waste finished compost, and coffee grounds, all blended together. I don't have any leaf mulch in it now. Um, I've replaced the leaf mulch with the finished yard waste compost for now. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can get the acidity down a little bit in the bins. I think the leaves may have been raising it up a little bit. So, anyway, we're going to try a little something different, see how it works. Um, you know, we'll label these bins. Uh, we're going to do a number system this time. So, uh, we'll go, this will be bin four and five because I've already got a one, two, and three for something I was doing a while back. So, while I talk, I guess we could do this, couldn't we? So. All right. So, yeah, that's them. Home again, home again, jiggy to jog. Mm -hmm. So... That's pretty much it. Throw the lid on. Throw a number to them. And uh, I'm going to get my old clipboard down here, I guess, with a piece of paper. And I'll, uh, I'm going to still tag the lid with a duct tape, my Sharpie. But uh, I'll tag it, uh, you know. Uh, Brita Band started um, April uh, the 4th, I think it is today, the 5th, something like that. Get in there. Let out. So that's it. That's how you set them. If you're worried about the bedding or you want to know how I set it up and how much I put in, I think it was like six quarts of uh, fresh bedding. Throw a little bit of water in there, mix it up. Make sure it's wet, not too wet, not dry. Uh, there's a video. I made one about starting a bin and doing the bedding, all that. You want to walk and go check it out. I'll throw it in the link too, uh, in the, a link in the description. And uh, we'll have that. Once again, listen, y'all are awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, thank you, thank you for, uh, coming, checking me out, uh, all the subscribers, everybody, you know what to do, if you ain't, if you ain't part of the fam, hey, why don't you jump on in, you come listen to the crazy old man ramble about worms, uh, hit that subscribe button, tell us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, let, let me know who you are, did you sub, you didn't sub, you, you liked it, you didn't like it, thought it sucked, hey, tell me something, but anyway, uh, that's it for that, y'all have a good one, and you know what? We'll see you on the next one.